tied the Fila Forum, the final ice dancing team, and Shariki Krilova and Oleg Avsyanikov of Russia, perennially second place finishers to Grishuk and Platov try to change that. We see some more athleticism by the male. The music, of course, is Carmen by Bizet and Shedrin. It's been used and overused, but when you see a great program, you hardly care. And Judy, this is much different style that we see than we saw earlier with Rashuk and Platov. That's right. They developed their own look. Last year, they were very balletic. This year, you can see the energy is already surging through their bodies. And certainly, they're coming into this event in first place. That helps. of him along the ice, just running. It's hard to imagine how much it would mean to this team to actually not only win their first European title, but to beat Grishuk and Platov, who they finished second to so many times. And we said it before, there's not a whole lot of love lost between the two couples, in fact, in the warm-up for the original dance, there were actually collisions between the two teams. They make no bones about it. They do not care for one another, but I think they respect one another's talent. And they have been second, and I'm sure they're depressed about that. But when you compete against the best, it makes you even better. It's happened for many people, many years in a row. These weight changes are interesting and how they work out of them. I mean, look at her face. If that isn't theater. of those lifts they show their flexibility and the line that they can achieve one of the most wonderful things about using the music from Carmen is the opportunity to accentuate the smaller notes of the music and to me that adds a great deal of drama to the program Sometimes it seems they're emphasizing every note of the music. Is there a danger in being overly dramatic on every note of the program? I think there's a danger in being over choreographed in that you may not see anything with so much going on and that oftentimes happens. It can be very contrived, but they are so professional, so polished, I just don't see that. the attack and the out and out passion well you've heard the power of dance now you're seeing the fury of woman <laughs> A lot of emotion inside and uh, played to its fullest degree. By Krilova Natsyanikov, in character to the end. One of their many lifts shows how much in line they are. The line of her leg and his arm and his leg. It's quite clear it could have been a little bit more at the end where his toe is. 
The last two years they played bridesmaids. To Grishuk and Plateau. Silver medalists at the European Championships. We'll see if they can win their first. And defeat Pasha and Yevgeny for the first time. Now they're technical merit marks. And those are not as good as Grishuk and Plateau. And artistic impression as well, not as good. They were looking for the win. It's not there yet. You remember the perfect sixes on the board for the other Russian team. And so once again, it's Krylov and Afsyanikov falling short. They finish with the silver medal. And Grishuk and Platov win their 21st consecutive competition, their third straight European title. The French team, Anasina Pezra, finish with the bronze medal here in Milan. So let there be no question, you're looking at the Olympic favorites, Grishuk and Platov, again the European champions, and again, disappointment for Angelika Krilova. One more chance, though, in Nagano.